right? So I play that on the F. What's up, guys? In this lesson, we'll be looking at um, how fills you can play on the four chord, all right? So uh, let's take a look at some of the fills that we can play when we are faced with a four chord in a song, all right? Now, uh, I usually make do my lessons in the key of C uh, to make it easy for everyone to move it around, all right? So uh, let me know in the comment section be below if you, you know, you prefer a particular key. I want to know the key that most of my viewers prefer to be taught in, all right? So uh, let me know in the comment section below. And this lesson, I'll take it in C sharp, demonstrate it in C maybe, all right? So um, let's have a look. So the four chord in the key of C sharp, all right? That's the four, and it's a major chord, right? So our basic one will be this kind of major chord. All right. Um, a simple, sim, uh, you know, simple fill I'll use is this kind of fill. Just regular. One seven one. Okay. Um, that's number one. <laughs> number two, uh, I could use. This fill works for the sixth chord, but I can use it for the four chord as well. Three, seven, six, uh, sorry, three, six, seven, one. Okay. All right. Number three is, uh, okay. Now you're going to see, play the, uh, the four chord as a major seven chord. So, and you can run this kind of melody. Okay. It's five, six, one, two, three. Okay, you've seen this before in my other lessons. Uh, okay. If I do this in the key of C, Okay. Okay, so first option in C. Second option. Third option. Okay. So say you're playing a six four one five chord progression. Okay. So back to, let's use at least another option. All right, great. So uh, let's take another option, another fill. Sometimes I like to do this kind of fill. Oh, yeah. This this. Uh, sounds a lot easier. So I drew, I run this kind of melody on uh, targeting the. It's sort of like playing, playing, you know, a five chord over the four. Okay, you need to get used to playing, you know, other chords over the root chord because they they tend to change the mood and make it sound a lot nicer sometimes, right? So, so. So, so la ti re ti do or five six seven two seven one so okay so let's try it on the chord progression uh, okay so depending on the situation or depending on the kind of song this might work uh, nicely all right uh, so i usually like to do pentatonic fails on the four chord as well 
Um, so the pentatonic scale for C is five notes. Okay, one, two, three, five, six. So I, you can just play around with a lot of, uh, you know, improvisatory uh, fills. Just make sure you avoid the five and the, the four and the seven. Okay, so you can do something like um, so. Oh, so the first one I played was. Okay, oh, this sort of. Okay. Uh, you might maybe pause. You could pause uh, the, you know, slow down the video to check out some of these. But. Uh, one, two, da, 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 da. All right. Uh, or you can do. Basically that. On the four, and it sounds good as well. All right. Okay. So. Now the last one I'd want to talk about here is this kind of thing I do on a four chord sometimes. Very, very typical gospel, right? So what I call this, like I call this suspended on the third, okay? I might talk about it in a, in a separate video, but suspended on the third is basically, this is the F. I go. I play the. I well, I'm going to play a suspended chord on the third of F. So the third of F is A in the in the key of C, right? And I'm going to play a sus four chord. So this chord is an A sus four. I'm going to play it on the F, and then just double the A here like that. So A sus four. I'm going to play it on the F. Okay. So then when I play this, I can do this kind of you know, in chord uh, movement. Okay, so let's say I have a uh, a song. Uh, Sing with me, how great. Right, so. I play that on the F, and it works perfectly, right? It it creates this uh, chord, major seven thirteen chord, or major nine thirteen, basically. So that's if you are used to the thirteens, this is what you can call it, right? Uh, it's a major seven thirteen or major nine thirteen, uh, depending on where you you place your left thumb, right? Great. So uh, you have a couple of options there to work with. Uh, try and get some songs in the in any key at all, and use the same con uh, concepts to uh, you know put them together, right? I use it right right there once again, right? So yeah, uh, have fun with it. Try it out with songs you already know. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you in the next lesson.